What's up guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, my name is Daniel and this is Maya. And today we're gonna be exploring one of the nicest areas in London, which is Notting Hill. We're gonna be starting today at Portobello Market, which we're right near now. It's literally full of people. There's tons of stores selling clothes. There's also gonna be a lot of food. I can already smell it. Don't forget to follow us on socials. And if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. So enough talking for now, let's get on with the vlog. So Portobello Market is open a couple of days per week but definitely the best day to come is Saturday. If you come during the week you will still be able to find a few stalls here and there and street food but on Saturday this place is madness. So busy with people and tourists so definitely you need to visit this place. Okay so at the top of Portobello Road so the north end. I think we started in the wrong place because we're not ready to eat yet but oh my god the food is insane there. There's literally like such an array, there's even like lots of made Turkish food, there's Thai, there's Vietnamese, there's everything. My mouth is literally watering but we weren't ready to eat yet. So I think we're going to head down towards the south side and then maybe we need to come back, I don't know, the food looked amazing. So we're just kind of like moseying around but we've come away from Portobello Road Market onto Lancaster Road and there's these like beautiful coloured houses. Everyone's taking pictures around here, it's a bit touristy but I can see why. <laughs> Towards the end of Portobello Road, there is lots of these arcades with lots of different stores and vintage stuff. Quite nice, lots of stuff to see. too much now <laughs> okay so we wanted to eat at the Portobello street market but then we realized that in this area there is Eat Tokyo which is one of the best Japanese restaurants that you find in London they're really easy going places quite cheap the food quality is amazing and there are quite few around London so we ended up eating there and it was so good
Yeah, so now we're on the way back to the Portobello market area because we want to get some scones from this amazing shop and take them with us to the Kensington Palace and Kensington Garden, which where we're probably gonna be ending up this vlog. <laughs> So the only reason that we found that scone place called Cheeky Scones was because the smell that it was emitting all the way down that street. When I smelt it, I was like, what is that? And it was like cinnamon and chocolate and just kind of like the way that those scones smell when they're fresh. And I've never seen that shop before. Have you? Never. Never. So that's a new find for us. So we went for the three and we've got them in a box and we're taking them somewhere quieter as you can tell we're already in a very quiet area this is coming up towards Kensington Gardens so all these beautiful mansions, mansions. they're not even like Victorian houses that like pop up mansions with Rolls Royce they have like the pillar the white yeah, pillared nice. front the really high stairs and they all have like one two three four five floors but yeah we're very excited to eat these scones we did go for Biscoff and white chocolate, apple and cinnamon, and blueberry and lemon. So, can't wait. We've got our coffee now as well to chase it all down. So we've been enjoying the Kensington Palace grounds and we also feel a little bit lethargic after eating three scones. They were actually amazing, so we really recommend that place. We're gonna close the vlog now and we just wanted to thank you if you are still watching this vlog and don't forget to like, subscribe to this channel. Follow us on socials. Not to miss our next vlogs and yeah, Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. See you next time. Bye. Bye. <laughs>